Okie dokie my friends, so now we have created our first Firebase function for a notification and that reacted to a new project being created. So now we need to do the second Cloud function which is going to react to a user signing up. So then how on earth are we going to do this? Well, first of all let's come under this function and create a new one. So exports, then the function name, we'll call this user joined and set that equal to functions. This time we're not going to use Firestore and it's not going to be a HTTPS type request either. This time it's going to be an auth trigger. So let's do dot auth and then we say dot user parentheses and then dot on create. And then we receive that user inside the callback function. So this time what's happening? Well, we're saying now that we want to create a trigger which is going to fire when a user has been created using the auth service. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So let's just make this a little more readable. I'm going to move on create to the next line. And then inside here, we need to now create a new notification. So let's first return and then we're going to return admin.firestore.collection. And then we're going to go into the users collection. Then we're going to find an individual doc. So we say dot doc and the doc we want is the ID of the user that's just been created. So we'll say user because we receive that new signed up user as a parameter in this callback function. Then remember we get the ID of that user using dot UID. Okay, so now we're making a reference to this document inside the Firestore collection users because remember when a new user signs up inside our application they sign up using the auth service but then we create a document for them inside the firestore collection so that's what we're referencing here that document that's just been created for that user here that's just signed up so we've got a reference to that document and that means what we can do is we can receive the data from that document including their name because at the end of the day when we create a notification object like this we need to know which user it's associated with. So we're going into the Firestore right here to grab that record and then we're going to grab the name from that record so we can use it inside our notification object. I hope that makes sense. So we've got a reference to the document and again I'm going to make this a bit more readable so let's move that to the next line then I'm going to say dot get and that is an asynchronous request so I can tack on a dot then method and this dot then method takes a callback function which is going to fire when we've successfully got that document so this callback function this takes an argument which is the document it retrieves the Firestore document for that user so now what we can do is access the data on that document. So we can say const new user is equal to the doc we receive inside this callback function dot data to get the data from that doc, much like we did with the project. OK, so now we have that new user inside this constant. Let's create our notification object. So const notification, set that equal to a new object and inside the content is going to be joined the party as in they've joined the application right so the next property is going to be the user now remember we just grab the data from that user inside their firestore record so we can again use a template string to output that user grabbing the variables like so and we want the new user dot first name that's the property stored on the Firestore record for a user. We also have their last name. So let's put that next. So new user dot last name. Oops, not author last name. That's just for projects. Last name. OK, cool. So now we have the content and the user. Finally, we just need the date or the time rather. So let's do time. And that is again equal to this thing up here. Admin dot Firestore dot field value dot server time stamp. Copy that and paste it down here. OK, so that's our notification object created. And this is being triggered when a new user is signing up. We're grabbing that new user document from the Firestore, which is created when a user signs up. And from that document, we're getting the data and storing it in here. We're creating the notification. The content is joined the party. We're getting the first name and the last name to store on the user 
from this document data in the Firestore, then we're just adding the time using this server timestamp. So now all we need to do is this thing up here, return create notification, so that we can call that function, and it's gonna pass in this notification, and when we call that function, which is outside both of these cloud functions, it's up here, when we call that function, we're taking in the notification, going to the notifications collection and adding that new notification. Then we're making a log to the console. Okay, so this should now work when a new user signs up. So let's save this. And again, we need to deploy this to Firebase. So let's clear the console again, then say Firebase deploy and again, only functions. All right, so that's the deploy complete. So if we go over now to our functions, we should be able to see that new function. And there it is, user joined, and the trigger is user.create. So this is gonna fire whenever a new user is created. So then let us now go and try to sign up inside our application with a new user so that hopefully we get that new notification and it's added to the database. So let's go to the application and sign up. We'll log out first of all. Then we'll go to sign up and we'll sign up with a new user. So the user is going to be crystal at the net ninja.co.uk. Uh, the password test one, two, three, four. First name is crystal and surname is ninja. All right. So sign up. And we can see that's successful now. Now, if we go over here and then go to the database, then we should see a new item added to the notifications collection. It's not there yet. It might just take a second to appear, but if we refresh, then we should see that now. But it's still not there. So I'm just going to open up the functions tab to see if something's gone wrong. I suppose this is good practice for when something does go wrong and go to logs to see if this was executed and also to see if there's any errors. And we can see that the function execute started, but then we get an error and it says type error admin.firestore.collection is not a function. So the problem here is that over in the code, we need to do parentheses right here. So Firestore is a function, not a property. So if we save that again, now I'm just going to clear this and deploy again to Firebase. So I'll say Firebase deploy, and then only functions again. Okay, so that now has been deployed. So if we go now to the front end and create another user, so let's go to log out and sign up again. And this time we'll do cooper at the net ninja.co.uk and the password is test1234, first name cooper, surname trooper. Okay, so let's sign up and we can see we've signed up successfully. Now, if we cross our fingers and pray, hopefully this has worked over in Firebase as well. So now we can see another document inside notifications. If we click on that, we should see join the party, Cooper Trooper. All right, so now this is working. Let's just go to logs. We can see that now we have the function execution starting and then the notification added. Awesome. So then my friends, now we have all these notifications being added whenever a new user either signs up or an existing user creates a new document. So now I guess what we want to do is take this data from Firestore and update this stuff on the right over here so that when a new notification is added, we see that update live here in the browser. So we'll start that process in the next video.